This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Now let's start. So yesterday we have started with what uh, select options. Okay. So we understood the purpose of select options. Select options, what it will do? It will generate the selection screen. Okay. It will generate the selection screen for reading what range of what input values for reading the range of input values from the user parameters also will generate the selection screen but we can read only what a single value right so whereas select options will generate the selection screen where we can read what multiple what um, we can read multiple range of what values okay uh, once again, I'm using a different system. I just want to check the voice. Uh, can anyone speak once? Uh, Partha, is it audible? Can you speak once? Yes, sir, it, <coughs> yes, sir, it is audible. Okay, okay. So stop me if any issues are there. But I'm using a different setup. Just I want to test it. Okay, yeah. <coughs> okay. Select options will generate what selection screen for reading the range of what input values from the user. So let me open the yesterday's example. So this is an example we have seen. Okay, we are reading the range of what uh, net values. We have seen that we have a table called as VBAK table, which stores what sales document header data. So if you go to ABAP dictionary SC11, if you go to the VBAK table, in the VBAK table, uh, we have one field NETWR net value, which is a currency data type which comes under numeric data type. So we are reading the range of what net values from the user, right? So how do you declare the select option? First, we need to declare a variable referring to the database field, or we can declare a variable referring to the data element of that field, then declare the select option by referring to that particular variable. Okay, and I gave the default values 1000 to what 1200. Then I declared an internal table. Whenever we click on the execute button, the event triggered is what start of selection. So in the start of selection event, I'm calling on subroutine. Okay, in the subroutine, we are fetching the data from what VBAK table. What are the fields we are setting? Web blend, date, time, name of the person, and NHWR from VBAK into table internal table where net value in select option so i say we understood that as part of select statement whenever you are comparing with the set of values or whenever you are comparing with the range of values we have to use what operator in operator if you are comparing with a single value if you are comparing with the parameter variable we have to use what equal to for select options we have to use in operator right after executing the subroutine Control comes here. If the internal table is not empty, we are counting the number of records in the internal table. Already we know describe statement counts the number of records in the internal table and stores the count value in the system field or site field. After displaying the count value, I am calling another subroutine. Inside the subroutine, I am looping it and displaying the data. Okay, done. <clears throat> so this is the way to declare the select option done done now my next requirement is I try to understand uh, when i run my abap program i should get a selection screen so i assume that this is an abap program when i execute that i should get a selection screen so in this selection screen In the selection screen I want to read range of sales document so here I want to read the range of sales document so here assume that I'll give sales documents range sales document range so sales document means what what is the field I need to read VBAK okay VBAK is nothing but what sales document number sorry VBAK is a table what is the field here? VBLN, sales document, character of what? 10. So based on this field, I want to input, read the input values. So now what I want is, suppose I assume that I'll give 
4985. Okay, this is the range I am given. So on executing the selection screen, what I want is I want to fetch the header data. Also, I want to fetch the item data. I want to fetch the header data and what item data. So related to sales orders, what are the header data and item data fields, item data tables via VBAK, which is what sales document header data. Okay, and VBAP, which is sales document item data. These are the two tables which stores the header data and what item data of the table. Right. What is the common field between these two tables? VBLN is a common field. So what is the relationship here? Each sales document of what? VBAK table. Each sales document of VBAK table can contain can contain uh, what? One or more one or more sales items in what? VBAP table. Okay. Each sales document of VBAK table can contain one or more sales items in what VBAP table. So what is the common field between these two tables? Both the tables are having a field called as what VBLN. So VBAK.Webland is equal to VBAP.Webland. The common field between the two tables is VBLN, nothing but sales document number. So let me just show you these tables first. So in the VBAK table, it shows the sales document header data. Let me open another session. I will go to SC11. We have the item table VBAP sales document item data sales document item data. Okay, so here you can see there are three primary key fields. What are they? MANDT nothing but client number VBLN sales document number PYSNR nothing but sales document item number sales document item number done and in the VBAK table. What are the two? Primary key fields MANDT and what VBLN client and what sales document number. So, what is this header data and item data concept? Means? Okay, so just see here. Assume that I'll take a bill. Okay, I'll take a bill. Assume that this is a supermarket bill. Okay, this supermarket bill I can divide into two sections. Okay, assume that here I will have something bill number every bill will contain what bill number okay and assume that uh, we have another column what bill date we have another uh, field called as what bill time okay and uh, the user who has generated the bill okay so this information this information is common for the entire document now. so this information is called as what header data header data so header data means it is captured in what header table this data is captured in what header table now if you take the bill here a bill might contain one item or i may purchase what multiple items if you take any bill i may have one item or what multiple items okay so here assume that uh, we have what item number okay item quantity okay and item price something like this okay so every item will have item code now nothing but item number so assume that this is item number 10 item quantity okay and item price something okay then item number uh, 20 okay something price quantity and some price so this data i'll call it as what item data so i may have one item or i may have what multiple items i may purchase one item or what multiple items so this is captured in what item table so there is a simple understanding of what header data and what item data header data means the information which is common for the entire document item data means individual line items we call it as what item data so if you take these two tables vba and vbap Suppose in VBAK table, what are the primary key fields? Client number and sales document number. Let me check the number of contents, number of records, number of entries are some 32,129. Let me go to VBAP table. We have VBLN and what? Item number, sales document, item number. Okay. You assume the sales document number is like bill number. 
sales document item is nothing but the item number okay psnr is the another primary key field so if i go to the contents how many items are there overall 1 lakh 12281 so i'm not bothered about that if i come back to the vba key table let me check whether i am having any sales document whose number is 4980 i don't know whether it is available or not i'm just checking whether i am having any sales document whose number is 4980 i am reading the sales document number is 4980 number of entries yes we have the we have the information related to this particular document so let me execute it will give me the information of that particular sales document sales document number created on created time all those okay let me check whether this sales document has got any items in what item table what is the item table for sales document vbap okay so here also we have the common field is what sales document i'll give 4980 so i may have zero or one or more items how many items are there ah, only one item is there for this sales document i am having only what one item let me execute this so this is my sales document what is the item number 10 what is the material number so and so okay then i'll do one thing i'll in the vbap table only uh, it will display the first 200 records let me execute this yeah one second one second please So let me come back to VBA key table. Okay, in the VBA key table, okay, that is header table. I'll give the sales document number as 40. I don't know that is available or not. So when I execute, yes, do we have that uh, VBLN? Yes, we have the sales document with what? 40. Let me check if the items are there with this. I'll go to the item table. Okay, so in the item table here, let me give the sales document number as what? 40. Sales document number is 40. So when I execute, when I say F8, yes, it has got how many items? Sales document number 40 has got how many items? Two items. Earlier we have seen one sales document 4980. It has got only what one item. This sales document has got what two items? Okay, number of entries are what two. So when I execute, yes, this is the sales document number. What is the item number? 10 and 20. So all these three are what? All these three are what primary key fields, blue color, client number, sales document, item number. PSN is what client. Okay. PSN is what item number. So my requirement now is one second. Yeah, my requirement now is I want to read the range of sales document from the user. Okay. Assume that I'll read the range of sales document numbers as. I don't have the data for this one, so I'll read the range of sales document number as something 10 to 100. Okay, so this is the default range I want, 10 to 100. So my output should look like this. What is that output? Uh, if you take the VBA key table, VBA key table is what sales document header data. From the VBA key table, I want some four fields like VBLN, sales document number, date on which is created. ERZT entry time and ER name name of the person who has created. So from the VBA key table, I want four columns. Okay, so assume that the sales document number is what 10. Okay, some date. Okay, date then what time and the person who has created. Okay, this is the data from which table header table. Then below this, below this, suppose uh, let me check this. In the VBA key table, let me check whether we have the sales document number with the 10. Yeah, we have that. Let me check in items are there for the sales document. If I go to VBA P table, here also sales document number is 10. How many items are there? Only one is there. Fine. So what I want, it has got only one item. So from the VBA P table, from the VBA P table, I want to display some fields. What are they? Sales document number I want to display. item number i want to display and the material number i want to display mat nr and in the vbap table only we have a field what metwr 
okay net value of the order item net value of the order item so i want four columns from what item table so what is the 10 then what else item number okay then item price item number sorry and then what material okay and then what price item price item price so assume that the sales document number 10 has got one more item okay so here it is what item number two okay something like this material two and what some item price done then uh, after 10 assume that i'm having 15 this is another sales document again from the edit table what i want date i want time and i want the name of the person and below that again i want item date of this particular sales document so 15 so assume that item number one this 15 has got three items for example okay material one and then what item price then below that again what 15 then i want what item number two then i will say material two then what item price okay then again 15 okay item number three assuming that we have three items for that particular sales document material three and then what item price then assume that in that particular range 10 to 100 i'm having another sales document 18 so again i want the header data for this erdat erzdt time and the name of the person who has created er name so this is person assume that this has got only uh, two items i18 i sales document number item number one and then what material one and then what item price okay assume that it has got one more item item number two and then what material two and then what item price so what i'm trying to show you is i want the output to be displayed like this what is the output header data i want below that i want what item data header data and again below that i want the item data so this is nothing but hierarchical sequential report hierarchical sequential report header data and corresponding item data okay something like this so my validations are okay i want some validations what are the validations uh, restrict the user restrict the ur my validations are uh, default to the sales document input values sales document input values as 10 to 100 so the moment the selection screen is displayed i want the default values to be shown as a 10 to 100 then what i want restrict the user okay restrict the user to enter restrict the user to enter only what single range then what else i want uh, fetch the fetch the corresponding what header and item data fetch the corresponding header and item data of the what sales orders and display the same in what display the same in what hierarchical sequential list hierarchical sequential list hierarchical sequencing not header below that item again header below that item something like that. so this is my overall requirement okay so let's see how to do it so we need to fetch sir, that here, what is a single range uh, sorry sir oh, what is a single range here because i can see 10 to 100 so one range so you mentioned the restrict user yeah. to enter on this yeah I'll, I'll come to that point uh, during the program i'll come to that point okay yeah single range means uh, it is something like this if you observe the yesterday's program let me open the yesterday's program we yesterday also we have taken select option for reading the range of values what is the range you are reading net value netwr from what vba table so when i execute this is the default range i got now you can see on the selection screen we have another button where by clicking on the button the user can enter what multiple ranges so i got 1000 to 1200 is one range i'll click on this there is a tab what select ranges i'll click on this i'll give another range like 1800 to what 2200 so the user is able to give what multiple ranges here i can see only one range but internally select option is an internal table so you'll have two ranges one range is 1000 to 200 another is what 1800 to 2000 so when i execute 
you can observe here I got the data between 1000 to 1200 as well as from 2000 to what 200 so my requirement now is yesterday we are allowing multiple ranges now I want to restrict the user to enter only what single range means this button should not be available to the user okay is it got it. Yeah. Yeah. so let us do that so here by keeping the requirement in mind we have to get the data from what two tables VBA table and what VBAP table header table and what item table so let me develop it so I say we have developed the select option like this I gave the default values like this okay so let me keep this as it is for our reference let me open new session and do that So as part of this hierarchical report, hierarchical sorry, as part of this database programming only, I am trying to cover different types of reports. So one of the report is what hierarchical report. Hierarchical report is what header and what corresponding item data, parent and child, something like that. Type of program is executable done. So now. Try to understand. So first agenda is what we need to generate the what selection skin for reading the range of what sales document. Sales document is available in what both VBA table as well as what VBAP table. So let me refer to VBLM, which is sales document number of what VBA tables. So how do we declare the select options? What is the recommended way? First, we need to what declare a variable declare a variable referring to that particular database field so i'll say v underscore weblen type what vba hyphen weblen understood so in the vba table i am referring to what sales document number done so i declared a variable then i declared a variable next what i'll do i'll say select options Okay, I'm trying to declare what select options s1 underscore select options generally will start with what s1 underscore vbln because I'm going to refer to vbln and giving the same name for what for what what is the variable I declared v underscore weblen so save it check for the syntax no errors when I try to execute I got the selection screen I want the values to be defaulted what is the value I want to default here what is the value 10 to 100 lower limit is 10 upper limit is what 100 so already we know based on the select option declaration sap will create the internal table in the runtime what is the structure of the internal table yesterday we have seen that sign option low and what i so here how do you associate the default values we have to use addition default okay since 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 okay Okay, let me try to directly give it as okay. Since or else, if you observe this, if you take the VBA table, Weblen is what field character of what 10. So, since it is character, I'll say default is what 10 to what 100. Why I'm giving single quotes because Weblen is what character field. So, I'm doing 10 to 100 when I execute. Yes, I got what 10 to 100. Done 10 to 100 okay now if i click on this yes again i am getting this user can enter what multiple ranges i want to restrict the user one of the validation what we need to restrict the user to enter only what single range so what i'll do here i'll say i will use the addition no extension i'll use the addition what no extension let me check whether it will meet our requirement when i say fit done i don't have the button here means we are restricting the user to enter only what single range this is a default range if the user wants he can change it he can change it okay done now when i click on the execute button what is the requirement i need to get the header data and what item data okay i need to write two different select statements to get the header data and what item data and display the data in this particular format so end user perspective we need to display the data in this particular format so since i have to get the data from header and item tables first of all i need to decide 
what fields you want to get okay so what fields you want to get so what i want from the header the header table that is from what vba table what are the fields i want to retrieve web blend sales document number er dat that is creation date er zdt creation time er nam nothing but what created by then what is that from the item table from the vbap table i want to get sales document number item number psnr then material number matnr and net value of the item net w so there are the four columns i want from the vbap table understood so blindly we should not write the select statement we need to understand what fields you have to return we need to understand from which table you have to return we need to understand in what sequence you have to retrieve okay what is the recommendation you try to return this in the same sequence as at our what database field sequence okay so i require two internal tables now understood because we are getting what multiple cells or header records this is one header record this is another header record this is another header record understood so okay uh, i do one thing one second please one second So, I require what? Multiple header records. These are all the header records. I mean, the data will come from what? Which table? Header table. Then I want what? Multiple item records. Each header record might contain what? Multiple items. Okay. So, this is one item. So, this I want to get from which table? This is the item data of which table? Uh, sorry. This is the item data coming from where? From the VBAP table. And this is another something like this. Okay, so when you are displaying the reports, okay, it should be easy for what analysis. So we should differentiate the data by giving some different cosmetic appearances like coloring, all those things, alignment, everything. Okay, so this is again header data and this is item data. Just to differentiate, I want something like this. Hope it's clear. Okay, this is header and this is item done. Okay, Chalo. so I need to get the data from two different tables. So I require two internal tables. Why internal tables? From header also we are getting multiple records. From item also in here you'll have what multiple records. So that's the reason I require what, two different internal tables. Okay, I repeat why I'm going for two internal tables because I require multiple header records. I require multiple item records. Okay, that's the reason I'll declare two different internal tables. So how do you declare all do you know types begin off? Okay, types begin off. I'll say T Y underscore. One second please. Yeah. Types begin off T Y underscore sales header and say something or uh, vba kit something like that what are the fields you want from the header table vbl and type vba kyphen webln what else uh, er dat yeah? data i want so er dat type what vba kyphen er dat done then here i'll say er zdt type vba kyphen er zdt then er nam Type VBA kyphen er name done. Then I'll say end of what ty underscore what sales header ty underscore sales header. Based on this types declaration, let me create the internal table and work area. So t underscore sales header type what table of ty underscore what sales header. Then I'll declare a work area w underscore sales header okay type type what ty underscore sales header none then i require the internal table for items now. so let me declare types begin of ty underscore sales items ty underscore sales items let me take some four fields rublin type vbap hyphen vbln that is sales document number then item number i want psnr type VBAP hyphen PYSNA item number, then I require material number, 
material number type VBAPI hyphen material number then what METWR type VBAPI hyphen METWR then I'll close the types declaration end of TY underscore sales items then based on this let me create the internal table T underscore sales items type table of TY underscore sales items I'll declare a work area W underscore sales items type TY underscore sales items done so I declare two internal tables and two work areas done so now when I execute this on click of this execute button on the selection screen what is the event triggered start of selection which we already know so in the start of selection first let me get the header data first I'll write the logic to get the header data one second yeah I'll say perform I'm calling a subroutine perform get sales header data some meaningful subroutine I'm calling get sales header data okay so subroutine does not exist you want to create yes I'll create that in the main program continue done so here I'll say what select VBLN ERDAT ERZDT ERNAM this is from which table VBAK table from VBAK into table into table t underscore what what is that internal table t underscore sales header where at compare with what sales document number now where vbln in understood because i'm reading the range of sales documents so where vbln in what is the select option name so underscore what webland okay so done done okay so now what i have to do if T underscore what sales header if T underscore sales header is not blank if the internet table is not empty I have to get the sales items for this sales order so I have to get the sales items for this sales order so let me debug up to this point and put the breakpoint so when I execute done 10 to 100 is the default range I give right let me switch to or I'll start using the new debugger okay we have what we have different views here we have different views i'll go for desktop 3 okay so now we have two internal tables what are they one is t underscore sales header as of now design omni entry zero entries what is the other internal table t and i'm double clicking what is the other internal t underscore this is also having what zero entries done where is the cursor now it is about to call the subroutine so i'll say f5 done control has gone to what subroutine definition what you are trying to do here we are trying to get the data from vba table into so and so interval comparing with the select option so whenever you are comparing select option you have to use what in operator with what field you are comparing webland because we are reading the range of webland only now reading the range of sales document so what is the range i gave Achha, this select option itself is the internal table now already we have seen yesterday select option itself is what internal table so see here when I double click on the select option okay so you can see the select option has got one entry you can see here when I double click on this when I double click on this you can see what is the structure of the select option sign option low and what I what is the default value for sign inclusive default value for option is what between what is the lower limit I give 10 what is the upper limit I give 100 why I got zeros here because webland is what character of 10 so it is prefixing with that means number of zeros depending on the width okay so since i am able to enter only one range i am having only one entry if you have that other button the user might enter multiple ranges then you will have some more records done so this is a table step i'll go back to my desktop three so select option itself is an internal table so based on this range what is that range what is that range 10 to 100 i am trying to get the header data i don't know how many sales orders are there between that range so when i say f8 when I say cursor is here when i press f8 sorry f5 done so you can see here between the 10 to 100 i got how many records 91 records so if i double click on this internal table now yeah what is the first sales document number 10 then we have what 11 12 13 14 so almost almost we are having what 
all the records in that. Okay, then so this is a sales. You can see see this header data. So you'll have only what one record per document. Thirty six years is also one. Thirty seven is also one. Only one record done. Now what I have to do based on this range? How many entries are there now? Ninety one. So I have to get the items for this ninety one sales orders. I have to get the items for this ninety one sales orders. Okay, so what I'll do now? Comparing with this header internal table, I have to get the item data. So what I'll do here? If it is not initial, I'll say perform what? Get sales items. Perform get sales items. Let me double click on this. Subroutine does not exist. Create the object. Yes, I'll choose the main program. Done. So what I have to do in the header inter? What is the header internal table now? T underscore what? Sales header. How many are there? If I give the range as 10 to 100, between that range I am having what? Around 91 records are there. So for that 91 records, I want the item data. So I have to compare with each sales order which is there in this header internal table now. So what I'll do? I'll say loop at what is the internal table? T underscore what? Sales header. T underscore sales header into work area. W underscore what? Sales header. W underscore sales header end loop, okay end loop. Then inside, so each record will come to work area now. Now I'll say select select web blend item number material number or the other field net value from which table from VBAP table into what is the internal table for items T underscore what sales items. What is the common field between this uh, database table? And this internal table webblem. So here I'll say where webblem. Left hand side is the database field where webblem is at VBAP webblem. Where webblem equal to each record will come to work area. No? So I'll say W underscore what sales header. I fun. This work area has got four fields: no? webblem, ERDAT, ERZD, ERNAME. So I have to compare with what webblem. That's it. So what I am trying to do. I am trying to get the item data. I am trying to get the item data only for those sales orders which are available in the header internal table. So let me check how it is working. Okay, so I am getting some warning related to some database feature. Just ignore it. Not relevant for us. Activate this. And let me debug. I'll debug once again. Just try to focus here. Afraid. Done. It is stopping in the debugging mode. So in the debugging mode, I'll go to desktop three. Yeah. So we have two internal tables. Okay. One is T underscore sales header, and this is what T underscore sales item. As of now, both are having zero record. First, I'm trying to get the header data. I'll say F5. Okay. I'm trying to execute the select statement, comparing the select option range. What is the select option range? 10 to 100. So when I say F5. Yes, between 10 to 100, how many sales orders are there? It's in 91 sales orders done. Okay, if T underscore sales order is not initial, yes, not empty. We are having at least one record now. We are having 91 records, so not initial is not empty. Yes, condition satisfied. We will enter the if block. Now I am trying to get the sales items done. So we are looping this header internal table. Header internal table has got how many records? 91 records. How many times it will loop? 91 times. So each time each record will come to the work area. Na. So when I say F5, done. So the record will come to work area. So uh, in that work area we have four fields: web line, date, time, and person. So I am interested only with the web line. So W underscore sales header. I find what web line is how much? 10. So what is the first sales document uh, which is looped? 10. Done. So based on this 10, I have to get the item data from which table? VBAP table. Na. So I'm getting the item data. What is the common field between this VBAP database table, between this VBAP database table and this uh, internal table? Weblen, na? So Weblen, okay. So when I say F5, let me check how many items I'll get for this 10. When I say F5, how many items? I got only what one item. So if you see this T underscore sales item, it has got only one one item. A sales document might contain one item or multiple items, but this has got only one item. Fine, leave it. Done. So I got the item data for 10. Again, we are in the loop. I'll say F5. F5. When I say F5 again, 
what is the next web line which is uh, iterated 11 so for this 11 i have to get the item data now i have to get the item data so when i get the item data for 11 assume that 11 also has got only one item so this one should be appended to this uh, item internal table now. already item has got one item item internal table has got one item related to which sales document number 10 now assume that 11 also has got one item so it should append here understood already this internal has got one item it should append here so let's see we'll append our override so when i say f5 okay so what is the count it is showing here again only one okay if you see this internal table yeah sales document number 11 item number is what 10 but what happened to 10 it got overwritten no? already this internal table has got one record to that record it should append but what is happening it is overwriting it is overwriting when let me look once again then what is the next web line? i got 12. i don't know 12 has got how many items when i say f5 yeah okay 12 has not got no items 12 has got no items if you see vba table if you go to vba table 12 is there when i execute 12 sales document number is there but if i go to vbap table item table in the vbap table if i give 12 here it is showing number of entries is zero that's it it is having what zero item that's why it has not retrieved any records so what should happen see here what happened the previous data got overwritten now. okay so when i go to the item internal table already it has got some two items they got overwritten 10 is got, got overwritten with 11 11 is got overwritten with nothing because the select is what failed the select is failed since select is failed what is the value of size of rc four four indicates what select is failed okay fine f5 i am looping it again what is the next web line 13 for 13 do you have any items here let me check in the vbap table i will do 13 i got zero so nothing will happen now so what should happen is it should keep on appending but it is overwriting so why i debug this understanding is what it is not appending to the existing internal it is overwriting fine we'll address that problem done so assume that i got the item data also now what i'll do here only if if t underscore what sales items is what not initial if the item internal is not empty i'll say end if i'll call one subroutine okay i'll say perform but display sales data okay perform display sales data let me double click on this you want to create yes i'll choose the main program continue so in what way i have to display in what sequence i have to display in the output i should display the header record below that i should display what item records understood we should display the header record below that i should display the item record so what i'll do here here i'll say I loop the internal table. I'll say loop at what is the internal table? Header internal table T underscore sales header into what? W underscore what? Sales header. Okay. End loop. So here I'll do one thing. I'll just give format color three. I'll display it. Right. What is this? W underscore sales header w underscore sales header iphone what Dublin. one second sales header iphone weblen what is this er dat i'm just displaying the header data er zdt then what er nam i'm just looping the header internal data and displaying it okay so when i execute that no errors when i say fit then i got only the header record header records only i got but what is the requirement under each header i should display the corresponding items but already we have seen the item data got overwritten now. so at the end you'll have the item data only for what last record so now here what i'll do i'll say after displaying the header record inside this loop and loop only I will loop the item internal table. Loop at t underscore what sales items into what is the work area? W underscore what sales items. Then also what end loop. 
I'll give a different color for this format color 7 I'll display okay loop when I'm looping the item internal table I'll say where what is the common field between these two internal table weblen where weblen equal to what is that w underscore sales header we are already in the loop iPhone what weblen means I should loop only those items I should do the items of only a particular sales document I should loop the items of only a particular sales document that's why I'm using that where condition now let me try to display I'll debug then you'll understand I'll debug w underscore what sales items iPhone what weblen iPhone weblen what else item number what else material number then NET WR net value okay done 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 okay right so save it check for the syntax no errors done when I execute see the output here I got only the header data but at the end if you see at the end if you see yeah I got the item data of the last uh, I got the item data of last sales document. Why, why we have this issue? Already we have seen in the earlier uh, execution here. In the earlier execution, I am writing the select inside the loop. So I got the items of the sales document number 10. But when I got the items of sales document number 11, the previous item data got overwritten. So like this, by the end of the loop, you will have the item data of only what? Last sales document. At the end, you'll have the item data of what last sales document. So let's see how to address this issue. I'll debug this once again. Just try to focus. And I say F8. Yeah, let me choose desktop 3 for better view. I'll choose desktop 3. So we have two internal tables. T underscore sales are zero entries. T underscore sales items also zero entries. I'm calling the subroutine. Done. First, what I'm doing, I'm trying to get the header data from VBA key table into so and so interval, comparing the select option line. So when I say F5, how many header records I got? 91 header records I got. Now what I have to do for each header record, I have to get the corresponding item data from which table? VBA key table. So when I say F5, then it is going there. It is not initial. I'm calling the subroutine. I'm looping now. So when I loop here. Each record will come to work here, you know? So what is the first uh, web line? The first web line, when I say web line, sales with iPhone, what web line? What is the first web line? 10. So for this 10, I have to get the item data from which table? VBAP. Comparing with what? This particular 10. That record has came to work area. I am comparing that work area web line. Sales with iPhone web line. Okay, what is that web line? So when I say F5 dot. Size of RC0, how many items I got? One item. Might be this sales document has got only one line item. It may have one line item or multiple line item, but 10 is having only one line item. Fine. Now, when I loop here, what is the next uh, header record iterated? 11. So, 11 also has got one item now. So, what should happen? This item number, item of 11, should go and append to this internal table now. Already it is holding the items of sales document number 10. So this count should become 2 because 11 also has got only one item. This one should become what 2. It should append. But what is happening? See here before I execute the select statement. As of now, it is holding the item data of what? It is holding the item data of what? Weblen. So when I say when I execute this, it should append. But instead of appending, when I say F5. Again, it is showing the count as one only. If you go and check here, what happened? The item data of sales document 10 is overwritten. So what is happening here? Since we are writing the select inside a loop, okay, at the end of the loop, what happens? You like this internal table will have the items of only the last sales document number. That's why when I execute also, I got the same result here. I got the item data of only last sales document. Okay. So, so the issue is where issues in this select statement when I'm trying to get the item data instead of appending to this internal table, it is overwriting the data. If the internal table is already having the data, 
it is overwriting the old data with that fresh data. So what I have to do here only I have to address the issue. What is that? It's a overwriting. It should happen. So can anyone tell me how do you proceed? Anyone? Here it is overwriting the previous data. How to overcome this? Instead of overwriting, it should happen. Anyone? Yes, anyone? Rajesh, we can't. Rajesh, are you there? Yeah, yesterday I just joined now actually. I was late. Okay, okay, okay fine, fine. Sorry. Hmm. Shikant, any suggestions? No, why we require another internal table? Okay, so. When I execute this, we are getting the result, but this is not the expected result. I should get the item data of what? Each and every sales document. So what I'll do now, I'll keep this program as it is. I'll make a copy of this 45 to 46. I'll copy this 45 to 46. See the changes that I'll do. So the issue is there in the second select statement. The issue is there in the second select statement. What is the issue? First initial it is getting the item data of first sales order. When I'm getting the item data of the next sales document, the previous item data got overwritten. It should not overwrite. So what I'll do is see the change. I'll say appending fields of table. Okay, select so and so so and so. Here I'll say appending fields of table what VBAP from what VBAP. Let me check the syntax. Table was expected here. Appending table. Huh? Let me check. Save it. Field VBAP is unknown. Appending table T underscore what sales items. Appending table t underscore what sales items save it check it no errors done let me execute and check the result good i got that result what is that i got header recording yellow color item i got 10 then 11 i got one item 12 i got 12 might doesn't have any items so 13 also doesn't have items 14 has got two items 15 two items 16 two items 17 two items 18 one item 19 one item i hope it's clear to everyone okay let me properly align when i'm displaying the item data when i'm displaying the item data i will leave some five spaces so that it will leave five spaces from the left hand side and will start displaying the item data so when i say f8 yes i got the proper data okay let me quickly debug this see here when i debug when I say F8, <clears throat> so we have two internal tables. One is T underscore sales header, another is T underscore sales items. When I say F5, initially I am getting the header data. How many header records I got? 40, 91 records I got. From which table? VBAK table. Done. Then I have to get the items of this each sales order now. I have to get the items of each sales order. That's why what I am doing, I am looping that header internal table. So when I loop, what happens? Each header record will come to work area. Na? So first time I am looping, what is the weblen I will get in the work area? See, when I say F5, what is the weblen I got? 10. So for this 10, let me check how many items are there. So select weblen so and so, appending table so and so from VBAK. When I say F5, Yes, I got only one record. So if you see the count here, I got only what one record. See the internal table. Yes, for the sales document number 10, it has got only one line item. What is the item number here? 10. Done. Earlier also we got this. Fine. 
Now I am looping. What is the next web line I got in the work area? 11. 11 also has got one item. Na. So earlier what happened? It has overwritten the items of 10 with what? 11. But now since I said appending, earlier I said into table. When I say into table, when I say into table, the previous data would be overwritten with the new data. But now I am saying what appending. Na. So see this count here now. When I say FI, good. What is the count here? 2. So if you see this, Yes, this is sales document number 10. This is item 11 also has what what one item done done. Okay, again, I'm looping. Okay, what is the next one? 12. 12 doesn't have any items. So when I say FI, size of ours is failed because 12 doesn't have any items. So the count remains what two. Then again, I'm looping. What is the next one? 13. 13 also doesn't have any sales items. When I say FI, the size of ours is again what four so this count is remaining what two done then again i'm looping what is the next sales document 14 i think 14 has got two items two or three i don't know let me say f5 what is the count has become four means it has got two items see this 14 has got two items what is this 10 and what 20 10 and what 20 like this it will loop and then we are displaying in the in this sequential format First header record below that item record. How you are ensuring this display? See the logic of display. First, I'm looping the header internal table. I'm displaying that. Then what I have to do? What I have to do? I have to, I have to display the items of that particular sales document only. Na? So inside the loop only, again, I'm starting another loop. Which internal I'm looping? Item internal table. Comparing with what? the sales order which is available in the header internal table okay so based on that so if you see here 10 has got one item so it will loop one time 11 also has got one item it will loop one time 14 has got two items now so this inner loop will be treated what two times understood so i am displaying the header data below that i am looping the corresponding item data corresponding is what i am looping only that web line which is available in the header if i don't use where condition it will loop what? all the items, which doesn't make sense. I have to loop only the corresponding items, corresponding sales document and display. So this is the logic which is taking care of what? Hierarchical display. Header record below the corresponding item records. Okay, so when I execute, I got the data. Okay, but if you see here, uh, if you see here, 14 has got two items. Okay, what is the item number 20? Then item number 10. 15 has got two items, 20 and 10. Okay, I want to display in sorted order. Sorted order of what? VBLN and uh, item number sequence. So what I'll do before I loop this here, I already we know sort statement. Sort, sort, sort. Which internal table? T underscore sales items by combination of what? WebLen and what? PO. SNR. Sort the item internal with the combination of sales document number and what item. Now see here, it will be sorted in what uh, ascending order. So when I say fit, done. You can see now 14, item number 10, then 20, 15, 10, 20. Okay, I got the required output. But there is a performance issue here. What is the performance issue? We are writing the select statement inside the loop now. This loop is iterated how many times? In our case, 91 times now because we have 91 sales order. So 91 times select statement is what? Executed. 91 times the request is sent from application server to database server, which will increase the network traffic. When it increases the network traffic, it increases the load on the database server. When it increases the load on the database server, it decreases the performance. Understood? So, why decrease the performance because we are writing the select inside what loop how many times select is executed it depends upon the number of times the loop is iterated in our case for the range of 10 to 100 we are having 91 records 91 times select statement is executed so it is recommended not to write the select statement inside the loop because it we are getting the result but it degrades the performance so how to address that are addressed in the tomorrow session if you have any questions in today's part, please ask me.
done. So I'll try to share this recording by afternoon. Fact is this, so depending on this examples, next three, four days we'll continue with the different types of reports. Done? So if there are no questions, I'll wind up. We'll continue tomorrow then. Hello. Hello. Tell me. Hello. Uh, internal table ni append chesan kada append internal table dan loop chesi display chesan kada chesi kada laga where 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 second internal table here here yeah yeah Ooh. this one then loop chesi display chesan kada data ni alai or chesan kada loop means I didn't get you uh, this internal table getting inter error data and the item data both data this, se this selection no, is getting item data only I already, we got, already we got the header data. Here I got the header data. I am looping that header internal table based on each header record. I am getting the corresponding item data inside the loop only. Mm -hmm. Okay. What you want to say? I am thinking here error data contain and the item data also. This internal table will contain. I am thinking. No, no. Header mm -hmm. internal is separate. Mm -hmm. Item internal is separate. Already okay. we got, already I got header internal table, header data only. Based on mm -hmm. that header record, I have to get the corresponding item record. So that's what I am looping that header internal table. For each header record, I am getting the corresponding item record. Okay. When I am okay. getting, I am appending. Okay. Okay, understood. But it is recommended not to write select inside the loop. Because the number of times the select statement iteration depends upon the number of times the loop is iterated. Okay, so how to address this issue? We will see tomorrow. Today we try to get the result, but this is not the correct result. Here we are having less data, fine. But if you have huge amount of data, it degrades the performance. Writing the select inside the loop will degrade the performance. Oh, here also one more issue is there. The sales document number is not sorted properly. It is not sorted properly. So I'll do one thing. Here, here, here. Here. I will sort header internal table. T underscore what? Sales. Header. By what? Word lab. By word lab. So when I execute. Yeah. Let me check whether it's sorted properly or not. 38, done, 50, done, 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 yes, it is sorted properly now, done, done, working fine, right, so I'll try to share the recording by afternoon, practice, practice, okay, otherwise it will be difficult going forward, okay, practice yesterday's and today's session, then you will be comfortable, shall I wind up, we'll continue tomorrow.